Hello and welcome back to another beer review on this awful, wet English bank holiday. If we're in Scotland, well, your bank holiday is on different weekends and it's usually better weather, I'll bet. Anyway, <clears throat> welcome back to another beer review and in this beer review, we're going to Italy. Um, I have a bottle of an Italian lager called Menabria, Bira Bionda. 4.8% ABV. There you go, boys and girls. And there's the back side. It's in a green looking bottle. And what caught me eye about this, um, this, this beer has been expe expensive. Well, for what it is, it's been about £2.60. But um, I managed to see this reduced to £2. So I thought, get it off the shelf. Because um, I didn't really want to pay £2.60 for it. Because I've got a funny feeling about this one. Like you do. Because with Italian lagers, they kind of like talk themselves up in appearance, you know. It's, you know, the label looks quite neat there. And it's got a gold medal up here. A uh, gold medal, a World Beer Championships in Chicago, Illinois, USA. So there you go. So it's won a gold medal. And I should read the back, bit back for you because I just read it just before putting this, this on, and it made me chuckle. It says, premium lager. And it's got, first off, it's got water, malted barley, maize, and hops. And it says it's aged for 30 days. A aged for 30 days for superior flavour using only finest ingredients. So this has been aged for 30 days. Sounds special, doesn't it? So, without further ado, let's see what's inside, shall we? Lots of smoke, and it's, I think it's going to show its bolt, is it? No, oh, it's staying there. Let's see what we get. It smells slight mint, a bit of cereal, less, maybe a hint of lemon there. But it smells quite... You know, what lager should do. <laughs> There's a crown, by the way. <laughs> There's a tiny hint of lemon. Not what else. Oops, it's gone up my nose now. It's decided to make an appearance. <laughs> so let's pour out like we do. And she's come out very, kind of like, pale looking. Very clear. Very clear looking beer. Lots of uh, carbonation going up. Big fluffy white head. Um, it, it's a bit bland. It is. It's a bit bland to be honest. It's not really picking up anything. And I have got clear nostrils, boys and girls. I've kind of like clipped all the nose out of my nostrils before I... <laughs> It's not much, not much there to be honest. It's a little bit metallicness there, and to be honest, there's nothing there, nothing whatsoever. So, boys and girls, I'm gonna go in. Cheers. Start like beating this. <laughs> it's a bit. It's a bit naff, <laughs> to be honest. I'm going again. Well, I'll try to be um, sensible, first off. It's drinkable. There's character wise, the taste, start hitting a bit of this, start hitting a maltness, maybe hint of maize, maybe how to pick that up. <laughs> <coughs> but it says on the back, and I quote again, aged for 30 days for a superior flavour. So, boys and girls, the question that has popped up in my mind after reading that. And that is, if this has been aged 
for 30 days. Fuck knows why it used what it tastes 30 days before. God, it must be like a fucking drain cleaner. You know what I mean? <laughs> so yes, it's talked itself up, and and I'll be honest with you, um, there are better lagers about. Um, where does it stand with all the other Italian lagers? You know, compared to Peroni, which I hate. Um, yeah, people, the same people who think Peroni is a special beer. We'll pick this up as well, and most probably sing its praises from the rafters. But the reality is, it's not much going on with it, and that's the truth. I'm not going to really rip into it, because really, it's, it's, it's all doled up. Boys and girls, it's all doled up like, I don't know, a female reality star. But inside, it's a bit shallow. If you know what I mean. It, it's just a bit boring. It's a bit boring and not much going on. One more for the road, I think. The more I drink it, the more I dislike it. And that's a fact. It's just boring. So, boys and girls, if you want to buy something which looks good on the shelf with a nice posh-looking label... And you want to feel as though, you know, you've got a special beer. Um, buy this, but don't crack it open because you'd be very, very disappointed. And that's all you can say. It's like watching a hardcore porn film and getting a little dick. <laughs> and on that score, see you boys and girls on my next one.